What's up, guys? It's Duka here, and I'm here for another week of Idol News. Uh, Michael is not here with me uh, for this week. Uh, he was kind of busy on his end, so I'm going to be recording by myself. Uh, this video shouldn't be as long as some of our other videos. It's actually been a fairly uh, short week, not as much news as usual, but there is definitely some interesting stuff to talk about. So we're just going to go right ahead into it. First off, um, AKB48 Nemos Sterebi and SCU48 uh, Emos TV, uh, both of those uh, TV shows productions are being put on hold due to the coronavirus outbreak. So uh, again, just hope that all of the members are doing well, that they are doing safe. Uh, I know that several of them, they have been uh, doing stuff from home. I know there have been a couple of different showroom streams that they've done as well as other stuff that they have done from home so that is good to hear but again hope the best for their health going forward uh, next up with akb48 uh, team 8 member sakaguchi nagisa launched her youtube channel it is called nagi nagi tube uh, she released a couple of videos recently so definitely check that out if you're interested it's actually i saw the introduction video it was really cute and also Team 8 released a stay-at-home version MV of their song Jita Bata, which is off of the latest uh, AKB48 single. So it was really cool seeing each of the members, they were filming uh, their positions in the song, their parts from home. So that was actually really cool to see. And the way they edited it and making it look like even though they are separate, they made it look like, you know, they were still there together as like a group. So that was really cool on the editor's part in that so definitely check that out uh, i also did check out the uh latest uh mv the anniversary mv of yonji nana no steki namachi where it showed all the members filming from home again like introducing the uh prefacture they represented so that was really cute uh next up from ske48 uh furuhata nao did a few a few videos, not really music videos, but some uh, performance videos, we'll call them that, with Brideer. They had originally planned on doing a collaboration live together, but that got canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic going on. But they did a, they released a couple of uh, videos where they were performing in a studio, and the songs that they did were uh, Frustration, Parting Shot, and uh, Honsho, one of Furuhata Nao's solo songs from her solo album, Honsho. All of those sounded so cool with live bands. Like, especially Frustration was the one that had me the most surprised. Because I never thought Frustration would sound so good as a rock song. And you hear, like, the girls were, like, rapping. And one of them was doing, like, in a really growly voice. Like, that's almost like sort of like that sort of metal kind of voice you kind of hear that that sounded so cool i really liked that actually so definitely check those videos out also uh brideer themselves did a cover of sk's parting shot so that was really cool to see too so definitely check that out as well that is on their channel the other videos are on sk's youtube channel so definitely check that out uh, next up for NMB48, uh, they had revealed the, the covers for their upcoming 23rd single. So we'll take a look at those right now. I'll pull them up here. So here's Type A. Uh, I actually really like the colors that they're going for, sort of the lighter pastel palette that they're going for, which is really nice to look at. And then here is Type B going with, I see sort of a paint sort of theme with this so it's really cool uh type c down here a couple more colors in there looks really nice and type d similar fashion and then this is the theater edition that that actually looks really pretty uh i'd say probably either type c or type a is my favorite just because with type a they have a really good balance of colors with the pink the pastel red the yellow and the light blue and then down here it's that same but they also added a really pale lavender and a light green which is really nice so yeah definitely looking forward to what they will do with this i'll read off the uh track list as well so on type A, we actually are getting a, a new Shiroma Miru 
solo song, uh, Ikenai Koto. Definitely interesting. Hearing another Mirurun solo. Uh, then we have a Team N song, uh, Hate. That's going to be interesting. I wonder what that's going to be about. Uh, in Type B, uh, there will be a Team M song, a Seishun La Brass Band, okay, along with the Mirurun solo song. And then on Type C, uh, we have a Team B2 song, a Be Happy, okay. And then, oh, you know what? I just realized they showed the title for the uh, track. The title track is called Date Date Date. I don't know why that flew over my head just now. Like, oh man, that is a big facepalm moment. Okay, so Date Date Date. Okay. That sounds like a really cute title. I'm really curious about what the actual song is going to be like. Uh, type D. Oh, this has the uh, Lapis Arch uh, song where they're covering from Yoshimoto Zaka 46, Suki ni natte gomen nasai. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, it looks like they're going to do a music video for it as well, so I wonder if they're going to replicate the music video that they did or if they're going to do something original. I'm actually really curious about that. And then in the theater edition, along with the Mirurun solo song, we are actually also getting a Murase Sae solo song, uh, Imihu. Okay. All right, so... Ignore that little brain fart that just happened where I didn't notice that it was showing the title track of the song. <laughs> I'm actually really interested in this, seeing what it's going to be like. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, next up with HKT48, they released the full music video for their latest single, uh, San Hikuni. This was really good. Again, I was really pleasantly surprised by them going in this new direction, showing a bit of a more mature side to them. It was so cool to see. And all of them looked really good. So highly recommend checking it out for yourself. It was really nice. Uh, and also, Tanaka Miku uh, has opened up a TikTok account. She is at Mikurin48, so that's M-I-K-U-R-R-I-N-48. Sorry about that. So yeah, definitely check her out if you're interested. If you have TikTok, definitely check that out. Sorry. Uh, next up, we do have a bit of an update regarding uh, NGT48 with the Yamaguchi Mahoho uh, assault case. So we'll talk about that next. So, Japanese talent agency AKS, uh, name changed to Vernalossum after April 1st, and two male assault suspects told the judge today, on April 8th actually is when this happened, they uh, have settled a lawsuit over AKS's benefit uh, harmed by the two males. Uh, AKS's lawyer, Endo Kazuhiro, Revealed the terms of the sentiment. Uh, two defendants will pay several million yen to AKS. Uh, AKS demanded 30 million yen, as it says in the note here. Uh, we'll send a written apology letter and never participate in any 48 groups activities in the future. Uh, Kazuhiro also revealed the content of the defendants' apology letters. One, uh, two defendants commit, they visited Yamaguchi Maho's home without her permission, and their pulling door action caused harm to her physical and psychological uh, hurts. And uh, second, the recorded conversation between the two defendants and Yamaguchi Maho was a false explanation, which led to a misunderstanding and harm of NGT members' reputation, and three, apology to NGT 48's uh, management. And a continuation from that, uh, against two suspects of former NGT 48 member Yamaguchi Maho's assault incident, uh, Japanese talent agency AKS uh, had filed a lawsuit which demanded compensation in the amount of 30 million yen. The lawsuit was settled on April 
the 8th, and the two defendants agreed to pay several million yen and write an apology letter to Yamaguchi Maho, although Maho and herself did not appear in court. Uh, the following are uh, Q&As from AKS's lawyer, Endo Kazuhiro. So, uh, from Chunichi Shimbun, uh, your comment on the lawsuit settlement, uh, asking for his comment on that. Okay, so he said, in some extent, it has proved other NGT48 members' innocence. Moreover, the defendants write an apology letter I think that is a progress towards the truth. Uh, then they asked about, has the issue been prolonged over to avoid a uh, member's burden? Uh, he said, I think both parties try their best to provide all evidence and the court suggested the settlement from the beginning of the trial. It had taken a long time, settlement is a wise move. They asked if they uh, communicated with Mahal and he said, my side did not. It was a difficult trial. He then asked that the uh, defendant provide any proof to support the testimony, have a connection with Yamaguchi Maho. Uh, he said, the defendants did not provide any evidence, though they were requested to. However, the defendants insisted. Uh, they then asked, to what extent are the fans satisfied by the results? He said he doesn't know. It depends on their judgment. And when asked about the future of NGT's activities, uh, he said, in his personal opinion, it is a restart to pursue their dream. I hope they will get the support as much as possible. So yeah, it does appear as if they have settled the lawsuit against the two uh, defendants who were involved in the case so yeah so again it's just been so crazy everything that has been happening with ngt so it, it is good to see an update from this i'm i'm not exactly sure what else to say about it i'm sorry i'm not able to talk about it as much uh but yeah, so moving on, a couple more updates regarding uh, both SCU48 and Equal Love as well. Uh, so both groups have postponed the releases of their next upcoming singles, so those will be released uh, within both groups at a later date, so we will probably get updates on that uh, later on. So again, hoping for the best for all the groups, all the members with their health. But talking about Equal Love as well, um, Not Equal Me, their sister group, released a music video for uh, one of the B-sides that is featured on Equal Love's upcoming next single, uh, Kimi to Boku no Uta. So this was done by them. So I guess that means that Kimi to Watashi no Uta is going to be done by Equal Love. So I'm interested in hearing if that's going to be any different from Kimi to Boku no Uta. All right, then moving on next to the Sakamichi side of news. So uh, because Michael isn't here, I'm going to briefly talk about some of the stuff that happened earlier this week. I'm hoping that the next time we record when it's the uh, two of us together that we'll be able to uh, talk about stuff together a little bit more. But first off, uh, Unis on Air actually had their six month uh, anniversary, which that's really cool to hear. Um, but also, uh, Keakizaka 46 as a group celebrated their fourth anniversary since their debut, so congratulations to them, four years. Uh, I saw that the members each released, like, short uh, message videos, like, you know, thanking the fans for supporting them and all that. And I know that they did a couple of live streams as well. So again, hoping that when uh, Michael joins us next time, we'll be able to talk about that a little bit more. Uh, next up with uh, Nogizaka46, uh, they released the first episode of the uh, second uh, fourth gen miniseries, uh, Saru ni Au, uh, episode one was released on YouTube, so I watched that. Definitely intriguing, it's nothing too crazy has happened yet, it's basically just been like setting up 
you know, introducing the characters, setting up their relationship, and basically setting up what we are most likely going to see down the line for this show. But it did leave a few intriguing plot points with, for example, with the character Keo, basically talking about how she might have been in a relationship with someone, which I think is going to be very interesting if they discuss it later on. So definitely curious about that. And also at the beginning, we did see, because the whole episode, it did start with this showing them on their travels, but this was basically the majority of it was flashing back to the moment they were like deciding on where they were going to go for their spring break trip. But we did actually get to see Horimiona's character. Uh, still don't know anything about her since it was just the first episode and that beginning scene was really brief, so I assume we're gonna see more of what her deal is in later episodes so again uh hopefully uh more episodes of this are hopefully gonna be subbed and they'll be released somewhere where i'll be able to see them because i am really interested in this what her character is gonna be like but yeah definitely check out the first episode if you haven't seen it yet um, also, there was a new trailer released for a movie which uh, Suzuki Ayane is actually the lead uh, heroine in. It's called uh, Shinigami Tsukai no Jikenjo Kukutsuya Kyoku. So this looks like it's definitely a period drama, but it has sort of that fantasy mystery element because it deals with uh, Shinigami or basically the uh, spirits of death who like the, the Grim Reapers, basically. They take... Uh, past souls of people who have passed away into the afterlife so and it looks like from what i saw in the trailer it's about a detective who works with a shinigami in order to solve mysteries so i'm really interested in that so i might i might check that out if that gets released and it gets sub somewhere i might check that out that actually sounds really interesting uh, next up, moving on to graduated member news. Uh, Ichikawa Miori is actually in the cast for a movie that is starring uh, Takeda Rena, uh, an actress I have seen uh, a few times before. She was in the Million Yen Women Netflix drama, which she was really good in that. But uh, this movie, uh, Esu ni Narucha, is a uh, softball movie, actually. And it says that Miyori's character is a childhood friend of Takeda Rena's character and is battling cancer. So that sounds really interesting. Again, that might be something that I might check out. So definitely look up more info on that if any of you are interested. And last up, we are going to go into discussion for the K-pop news. So first up, Eyes One is releasing a new rhythm game it is called superstar eyes one they released a little uh trailer clip of it which showed a little bit of the gameplay which looks really cool uh i doubt it's gonna be released internationally it'll probably only be japan exclusive but still that's really cool to see that they're releasing a new mobile game from this uh they also made an instagram account on it it's just a uh, superstar underscore eyes one. So definitely check that out if any of you are interested in it. And next up with uh, Luna, they uh, released a couple of things as well. First off, um, they the group appeared on Hidden Track 2 and they did a performance of Satellite. It was actually chosen by vote of the fans. They chose uh, what song they wanted to see the girls perform in the studio and Satellite won which was really cool to see them do. So definitely check out a performance video of that was a really good performance. Again, missed, you know, Hustle being there, you know, it still, you know, doesn't feel complete when it's not the 12 of them, but it was still a really good performance. So definitely recommend checking out. And last up uh, on their YouTube channel, they released the fourth and final episode of Jin Soul TV. This was basically a mini vlog series that she started uh, last year when sh she was filming it during like her vacation, basically showing her doing stuff, which was really cool to see. Like she went to an amusement park in some of the earlier ones and she saw Gohan and Olivia were there as well. So <laughs> that was actually really cute. 
And so in this latest one was basically the final one wrapping up, basically showing a montage of like uh, the other days that she took on her vacation, which were really fun to see. So yeah, definitely check that out. And that does it for the news for this week. So if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below some of your thoughts on what I talked about here or anything that maybe I hadn't talked about that maybe I missed. I don't know. <laughs> Again, it, it seemed like pretty slow week. Not too much was happening. But yeah, uh, if you like what we do here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and maybe check out our second channel where we do reactions to idle content. And we'll see you guys in the next video whenever we make it. So until then, bye bye.